When I am in the forest, I am completely seduced by these giant trees that are impossible to account for with a naked eye. It's like walking inside a huge temple. It's so sacred and uh, dominant, and at the same time, is kind of intimidating. The forest is where we used to live as human beings at the beginning. And uh, it sort of feels like you're going back to your uh, beginnings. It touches a lot of your primitive side. I am a city person. I grew up in a city and uh, I always lived in big cities. And for me, the forest becomes this place that is so scary and at the same time, it's such a sanctuary, it's like a shelter. I feel saved and at the same time, I'm very, very scared. I, there is a sense of fear, there is a huge sense of fear. It's like a panopticon, you feel observed but you don't really know who's looking at you. But at the same time, that fear becomes or turns into some sort of curiosity. It's kind of morbid, <laughs> if you think about it. When you see the forest from far away for the first time, you see this big wall of trees and green and brown and a little bit of a sky, maybe. And you want to go and trespass this wall trespass the outskirt of the forest and uh, the more you walk and walk inside the bigger these walls begin to appear in front of you and it's like you're constantly trying to go through these walls and it never happens because the, the forest is very dense and it's like never ending it's a sense of uh, infinite Ironically, I have never, or I was never attracted to the wild or nature or anything of the sort. It's funny because I grew up in a city surrounded by a beautiful mountain and uh, I was born in a country that has one of the top 10 biodiverse environments in the world. Almost like two thirds of Venezuela is forest. Incredible. I think, <laughs> I think my mom, who grew up in New York, was always afraid that something was going to bite me and hurt me. So she never encouraged us to, to go into nature or... We never went out to, to explore the natural world around us. Um, I grew up, I was brought up going to the theater, to the movies, to the museums. It was a very city life. It was my urban jungle. Maybe that's what happens. I was very curious to, to get to know a world that I really didn't know much about and uh, was never encouraged to find out. When I moved from New York to Florida, I was not happy. I, I missed my urban jungle, the cultural life of the city, and uh, I was not, not happy at all. Curiosity brought me to nature, to the forest. One of my best friends is the opposite of me, very much into nature, and she's a fellow photographer. And one day I was so intrigued by her fascination with nature that I begged her to take me with her. Uh, she finally agreed, it was not easy. And uh, that's how I started to to get in contact, that's how I, I fell in love with nature, out of curiosity, out of the intrigue that I have about other people's love for nature. Because the forest is continually changing, I constantly revisit a new landscape. No matter how many times I go to the exact same place, it's always a new landscape. That is one of the reasons that it's easy to get lost uh, 
in the forest if you are unfamiliar with the land. That's one of the things that fascinates me the most about photography is the ability to immortalize the ever-changing landscapes of the wetlands or the forest, especially here in Florida, where we are at the expense of floating and hurricanes. Sometimes I go to the forest trying to find, to reshoot a, a photograph that I, that I didn't really like the lighting or the composition, and I'm looking for the exact same tree or the exact, the exact same uh, bushes, and uh, it's not there anymore. I try to find it, I go in circles, and I go around and around that it's just not there anymore. And uh, I have to surrender to this reality that I don't make decisions in the forest. The forest makes its own decisions. When I return to my studio, that's where I can sit down and recall the memories of those experiences that I was um, going through when I was shooting in the forest. It's easy to, to forget, it's easy for this memory to be erased. So when you come back to the studio and you sit in front of the work and you can try to recall those memories, that's when you start really working into making this picture permanent. It makes you think about the, the tangibility of things. In this moment in our history where everything is increasingly digital and we're living in a very digital environment, especially after the pandemic, being in the forest, it's a weird feeling. It's, uh, it brings you back to the things that exist even after we perish. That is very uh, moving. At the same time, it's very poetic. <laughs>